Advances in Health, I'm Rebecca Stewart. There is more hope than ever before when it comes to cancer care. Dr. Peter Yu is here, physician in chief at the Hartford Healthcare Cancer Institute. There has been so much attention. It's a fascinating time when you look at harnessing the body's own immune system to help fight cancer. Immunotherapy, tell us about it. We now have a fourth uh, arm um, in our fight against cancer. So uh, traditionally we have chemotherapy, we have radiation, and we have surgery. Um, and now we have immunotherapy, which is using the body's own defense mechanisms to fight the cancer. This is a dream that has gone on for decades, if not centuries. You know, we can have vaccines that cure things like polio. Why can't we cure a cancer? And it, it's been a, just a great frustration until just the last five or so years where there's been this remarkable outbreak of new treatments. How does it work? Very often what we're finding is there are a couple things going on. One is the, the cancer has a strong signal to the immune system that says, I'm not like you, come attack me. Uh, and um, we call this high tumor mutation burden. It's often driven by the cause of cancer. So things like cigarette smoking uh, or viruses like human papillomaviruses tend to go in and cause lots of damages and send a good signal. But we also have cancers that don't respond uh, and we call these immunologically silent cancers. Mm -hmm. And so the big question is how do we work with cancers that don't send a strong signal? And that's where you're seeing things like um, CAR T cells uh, right. or tumor infiltrating lymphocytes or TIL, til cells, um, which are genetically modified um, immune blood cells so that we've gone in, tinkered with the blood cell right. and said, taught it really, attack this cancer that's immunologically silent. We're gonna teach you how to attack the cancer. If you'd like more information, log on to WTNH.com slash advances in health.